I refused to give my salary to my sister. My sister and I never had a good relationship. She had a diagnosed mental issue in childhood, where she could get sick if any stressful situation happened. Initially, this didn't bother me because it wasn't her fault, and I did my best to avoid conflicts to prevent triggering her symptoms. However, when she reached an age where she understood more about her condition, she started pretending to get stressed in any situation, which usually made my parents side with her, turning her into basically a queen at home, someone who couldn't be questioned or ever be wrong. This led to situations where she would take my things and not return them, break things in the house and blame me, and even take my food while everyone was watching and eat it in front of me. Whenever I tried to confront her, she pretended that her illness was flaring up, and at that moment, my parents would step in to defend her and put me in punishment, no matter how outrageous her actions were. When there was no one around to defend her, she would just laugh at me and mock me, saying that no matter what she did, they would always be on her side. This continued throughout my adolescence until I reached adulthood. During my teenage years, I had already started saving money to move out, but she would always find where I was hiding the money, and my parents did nothing to stop her. So, I asked them to help me open a bank account, but my sister overheard this, started pretending that her illness was acting up, and said she didn't want me to do it because she wanted to keep taking my money, and of course, my parents obeyed her. Anyway, I asked a trusted friend to keep my money in his bank account, and that's how I managed throughout my teenage years. You can now check if there's a part 2 by pressing share and more. I refused to give my salary to my sister. Part 2. I would leave only 10 or 20 dollars at home, as if she didn't find any money, she would search my room for it. When I turned 18 and finished high school, I also moved out of the house. I asked my friend for my money and saw that there was almost double, as his father worked in stock investments and took the liberty of investing my money in safe options. I was very grateful because with more money, I could afford more time to find a good job and support myself. Over time, I got a good job, enough to support myself and have money left for leisure or vacations, and I completely cut off contact with my family, even though my mother tried to contact me occasionally. However, now, about four years later, my mother called me in desperation. She said that recently, my sister had been having more and more of her illness episodes, and she asked for my help. She said no job would accept my sister because of her behavior, and that she wanted to move out to be independent, but my parents' money alone couldn't cover her luxury lifestyle. At this point, I was questioning what I had to do with it, until my mother told me something that, to me, was the last straw. She asked me to give my entire salary to my sister to live her life without stress, and for me to get a second job and give half of that salary to my sister as well, and live with the other half. I simply laughed, told them it was all their fault and how much they spoiled my sister, and honestly, now I even doubt if she has any real condition. I told them to figure it out themselves and that I would never support an adult like that. Am I wrong?